Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Nuri, and in today's video I have a big Chanel haul for you guys. A couple of months ago, I mentioned in a vlog that I picked up my dream Chanel bag, and since then, you have all been DMing me, asking me when I'm going to show the bag, and finally I am. I'm really excited to share this bag with you, I'm obsessed with it, and during that time I also managed to pick up some other bits from Chanel, so I'm going to share those pieces with you too. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So, I'm gonna start with the bag because I feel like that's the most exciting part. I actually did unbox this already because I took it with me on holiday to Ibiza but I didn't actually wear it out there because I kind of just wanted to unbox it first on YouTube and it just didn't feel right wearing it out there without showing you guys first. I feel like some of you may have guessed what it is because I've been talking about this bag for quite a while now on my Instagram. I'm just gonna open it up now. So I picked up the Chanel green mini flap bag with champagne hardware and guys I'm obsessed with this bag. You guys know that I've been obsessed with the colour green for a while now and I really felt like I needed a green Chanel bag in my life. I have the black, I have the white, I have a couple of black Chanel bags now so I definitely wanted to start venturing into a bit more colour and what better way to start than this beautiful green. And if you didn't know already, green is actually my favourite colour. I'm a very neutral girl in my outfits but green in general is just my lifetime favourite colour so I felt like it was only right to get this in green. I just can't get over this. I think it is the most beautiful shade of green. I had tried to get this bag a couple of times. I went to a couple of Chanel boutiques and every time I'd go in they didn't have the green bag and then one day we were in Selfridges and just by chance I thought I'd check in and this was the last piece that they had. So I tried it on and I was just wearing like a basic neutral outfit, my Burberry trench and like a black outfit underneath and I just put this on top and honestly it it sold it for me because it just made the whole outfit look amazing the pop of green is just amazing and I think it works beautifully with my wardrobe and I love that it's champagne hardware because it kind of looks like silver I feel like with the green although it is kind of more of like a goldy color but it's nice because I can wear it with different accessories and I don't actually own a mini flap so this is perfect because it's a crossbody bag you can actually shorten it inside. There's a little, little trick that you can do. So basically what you do is you just pull these bits in on the side. And then if you have a ribbon, like a Chanel ribbon, you just tie a little bow there. And then it basically becomes the length that you want it. So you can, can actually wear it as um, a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a shorter crossbody bag. It is in the lambskin material, so it is very delicate. I'm just looking to see if there's any marks on it yet. There shouldn't be because I haven't worn it. I'll put the exact amount on the screen, but it was around £3,000. And this was before I knew about the price increase, so I'm kind of happy I did get this flap. But yeah, I'm just really obsessed with it. And now that I've shown you guys, I can finally wear it out. It can get all the shine and love that it deserves and it can sit on my shelf. So that is the bag. I feel like I've just said so much about it, but you'll definitely be seeing this on my Instagram. So if you're not already following me, make sure to follow me at Nuri Anna because I will be selling this bag up on there. And then next up, I picked up some sunglasses. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have already seen these. I am obsessed with them again. They are just so beautiful. I absolutely love them. I really love the case that it comes in. It's in this leather case. It has quilting at the back and then it opens like this, which I think is just so lovely. But I mean, considering the price of the sunglasses, I feel like it was justified to have a good case. These are sunglasses. They're a black frame. They're really like oversized and large. They have gold detailing on the side and then they have the little CC on the side as well, which I love. I feel like it's just very simple. It's a very Chanel sunglass, very classic. I feel like this is a timeless style that I'll have for years and years and years. I obviously had to go for the gold detailing because you guys know gold is my ultimate fave. And with sunglasses, I really like to go oversized and I felt that these were just perfect. I'm gonna pop these on. I just feel like they suit my face really nicely. I absolutely love the whole big black square style and the side of them, they've got this little CC on the side and they're also thick as well on the um, side of sunglasses. Again, I can't remember the exact price. I feel like they were around 500 pounds. I will leave a link. I'm gonna leave a link for everything in the description down below and also the prices on screen. But I bought these pieces like in the past few months, I've forgotten the prices, but 
These were around £500 and I think they are absolutely stunning. And I wore these on my holiday to Ibiza and I got so many compliments on them and I'm just ready to wear them all summer long. Okay, and next up we have shoes. So the first pair of shoes are the dad sandals and these are like Marmite. You either love them or hate them. And I feel like at first, like a couple of years ago, I hated them, but I've really grown to love the dad sandal trend. So these are from the new collection. They're in the navy color and they're in this velvet material. They have the CCs on the buckle in this like multicolored gem style and I love that. I feel like they're just really different to the previous styles that have been brought out and I love how they're very summery so it will look really nicely with all my outfits. You've got colors of red, the pearly, white, orange and green and navy in there. I stay true to size in these. So these are a 39 and they fit me perfectly. They're comfortable but I actually haven't worn them out yet as you can see so I can't really comment too much on the comfortability of them but just walking around in the room in them they're actually really nice to walk in so these ones were 1090 pounds which i do think is quite pricey for a pair of sandals but i know they're selling for so much more on the resale market people are selling them for like 2000 pounds i've seen so i'm really lucky that i was able to get these in store i got these from the selfridges london branch and they actually had quite a few sizes um so if you are looking for some i definitely recommend popping into there i feel like there's so many different outfits i can make with them and they're just very cool and edgy and i'm really excited to start these ones up. So the last pair of shoes that I picked up were these Chanel loafers and again I feel like these are a pair that you either love or hate. Again I was really shocked to see them in store on display because I know that these were really popular last year and super hard to get a hold of so I'm very lucky that I got them in my size in store. I'm gonna insert a picture of Hailey Bieber. She was wearing them and I think that's when I fell in love with them. She wore them with these heart socks which I'm trying to source. I really want a pair of heart socks to wear them how she did. But yeah these are basically your black standard leather the loafers you've got the classic Chanel quilting on here and then the champagne gold hardware and I just thought this was a piece that I could wear for all the seasons I can wear it in summer with like a dress some cute white socks come out with a skirt then through to like spring autumn I can still wear them with like trousers jeans and even in winter you can wear them so I felt like it was definitely a worthwhile investment again these were true to size so I got them in a 39 and I just love the quilting on them even the bottom of the shoe has the quilting design it's got this cute little platform it's not high at all oh my god wait can you open the flap what the hell why would that why is that an option why can you open it it's like a bag you can open it guys what the why would they do that <laughs> true are you recording true just said yeah true just said you can open it so you can put the love note in there if you know you know the chanel bags the back of it the inside of it there's a secret zip and it's for the coco chanel's love letters and true just said this is for the love letters as well so maybe it is let me know in the comments down below if you know why there is um, a reason for this opening because I just don't understand. The price for these ones was £970. So they're cheaper than the dad sandals, which is weird for me because I feel like more work and more material goes into these than the dad sandals. Anyway, but they're 970 and I also felt like I felt justified in getting them because I was thinking about getting the Prada loafers, the chunky Prada loafers, and I didn't go up, go for them in the end. And I feel like these are so much more true to my style compared to the Prada loafers, and I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. They're classic. I feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of classic Chanel loafers. So yeah, I had to get them. And again, I can't wait to style them up. I'm gonna be wearing them lots on my Instagram. So make sure to look out for that. So that is the end of the Chanel haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pieces were. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.